Hi guys, Mr. Awful Waffles here. A few months ago, I posted a video of Firewatch, right? It was a Firewatch video about like six, seven minutes long, whatever. And I talked a little bit about the nature of games and things like that. It was a bit of a departure from my regular content talking about zombies and that sort of thing. And it went down really well. A lot of you in the comments were like, Milo, you posting other games is a fantastic idea. Please do more of it. And since then, I've kind of stuck to zombies just because of the fact that I've had so little time to really explore other things and try and expand into other areas and play with new ideas and things like that. So I've essentially been prioritizing the zombies stuff. But as you can see on your screen right now, you're seeing some Overwatch gameplay. And that's because, well, I guess let me give you a little anecdote, right? So back in the day, I used to absolutely love TF2, right? Team Fortress 2 made by Valve. It's on Steam. It's free to play. And it was so damn fun. I used to absolutely love that game. Playing it for a few hours in an evening with my friends and just derping around and doing silly stuff in it was fantastic. There was so much humor embedded in that game as well. It was it was just great. I really, really loved TF2. But I think over the years, it just, I guess, got a little bit samey. I mean, I got older. I started to have less and less free time. And as such, it was something that I kind of fell out of touch with. And every now and then I go back to it and get a little bit of nostalgia and really enjoy myself, but it's not something I play regularly these days at all. However, over the last few days, I've played so much Overwatch. Oh my goodness. I've been prepping for exams and I've been working really hard on other videos and we've had the t-shirt campaign wrap up and all sorts of stuff's been going on. But my goodness, this game has been such a time sink for me over those few days as well, just because of how enjoyable it is. I haven't enjoyed myself like I have done with this beta in a multiplayer shooter in years. It's actually been that good, and I can't wait to pick it up when it comes out in about two weeks' time. And hopefully, if you guys are down for it, I could start posting some Overwatch gameplay on a somewhat regular basis because I enjoy the game so much. And yes, right now the focus of my channel is completely Call of Duty Zombies through and through 100%, but I would really like to expand a little bit and try out some new things. And if you guys would be down, I'd absolutely love to post some of this game because it's so enjoyable. So let me know with a comment down below if that's something you would like to see. If you also played the beta, let me know what you thought of it because for me, before the beta started, this game was not on my radar at all. Not in the slightest. I knew of it. I knew that Blizzard were making it. I knew the style of game. But for some reason, I had no interest in it whatsoever. And then the beta started and all that changed pretty damn fast. And now I love it. So I'm definitely going to be picking this up in a few weeks time. For those of you that are confused as to what you're even seeing right now, don't worry. I'll give you a very quick recap. So the idea is that there are two teams of six players. Each person picks a hero, which is one of something like 15, 16 different characters that are available in the game. Each character has their own set of abilities. They have their own strengths, their weaknesses as well. And the idea is that together as a team, you have to fight for an objective. So Either you might be pushing a cart or defending a route from a team that's pushing a cart, or you might be in a sort of King of the Hill style situation where you've got to try and cap a point in the middle of the map, or maybe uh, one team is pushing through the map trying to get to the end of it and cap points along the way, and the other team is trying to prevent them from doing so. Or it could be a mix of those and you might have a bit of cart pushing and then a bit of control point capping and things like that. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what the hell is going on here, just in case you didn't play any TF2 back in the day and maybe you're yet to play the Overwatch beta or Overwatch itself either. I'm playing Tracer here, who's this speedy Gonzalez that just blinks about all over the place and causes mayhem in the enemy's back line and stuff like that. Generally just gets on the enemy's nerves and kind of distracts them from the main objectives and things like that, while still providing some reasonable actual damage output. So as you can see there, I'm using my grenade, my special grenade that I've charged up. That's the meter in the bottom to take out one of the slightly more heavily armored enemies, which is a Reinhardt, this dude with the shield. But anyway, there's so much going on and there's so much to this game that me trying to explain absolutely all of it right now is a pretty much hopeless endeavor. So I won't bother trying to do so. That's just a basic introduction to what the game is about and what is actually on your screen right now. As far as the longevity of the game goes, I have no idea what Blizzard's plan is right now to make sure that people do keep playing it for years and years. But just looking at Blizzard's track record, you've got things like Hearthstone, you've got things like Diablo, World of Warcraft, They've clearly got a very good formula 
for making stuff work for a long time. And so I fully expect that to happen with this game as well, but I just don't know how that's going to manifest itself because I feel like adding a load of heroes might throw the balance of the game out of whack a bit. So I'm not sure if that's something that they're going to do, or maybe they'll only stick to things that they can add for the loot box system that they have in the game right now, or they've got something else entirely planned. Maybe they're going to have formal DLC for all I know. I have no idea. So that's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out and stuff like that. And that will also determine what sort of content I'm making as well, because if there's a new update with a load of new stuff added and I'm making Overwatch videos, obviously that's something that then would be part of those videos and something I would cover. So lots to figure out and work out and explore over the coming weeks and months with this game and potentially years as well. And I look forward to figuring it all out with you guys. So hopefully you are down to watch some other games on this channel other than just the zombies stuff. Please just give me a chance, guys. I won't disappoint. And if you have enjoyed the video, then leave a like as always. Thanks for watching. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.